Hello, and welcome back to Engineers Escape. My name's Jake, and today we're going to be adding a SATA SSD to this HP Pavilion gaming laptop. You can see the model number here. Before we begin, I want to quickly show you how to tell what kind of storage device you already have in your computer. Click on the Windows button and search for HP PC Hardware Diagnostics Windows. Run as administrator. When it loads up, go to System Information on the left hand side and click Storage. And this will display all the information about the storage drives on your machine. Please note that if you're replacing a drive rather than adding one, you may need to copy the contents onto the new drive. That process is not shown in this video. This machine supports a 2.5 inch SATA 3 SSD or HDD. More compatibility info is in the description below. Now let's get into the video. If you haven't already, begin by turning off the power. Also make sure you unplug the charging cable. Let's remove the back cover. There are seven screws. Three in the front, and four in the back. Use a Phillips one screwdriver to remove the screws. Carefully pry off the back cover. I'm going to be using this guitar pick. I recommend using a plastic object as a metal screwdriver could mar up the side. It helps if you start by this USB port like I'm showing. And here's the back of the laptop when the cover is removed. Some of the main components. We have our battery. We have our SATA hard drive or SSD. This one's just a plastic cover. Fans. We have our heat pipes. This is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. And underneath of this black sticker is the M.2 drive and our sticks of RAM. Now before we mess with anything in here in the laptop, we're going to unplug the battery cable. And you can see that's this little guy right here. So we'll just get our fingernails underneath the both sides of it and pull out, kind of jiggle it. And we'll just pull that up so we don't forget to plug it back in. Let's add the new SSD. Let's remove this metal bracket so we can add an SSD. There are one, two, three screws. Pull straight up on the bracket. Remove the cable. This is just a blank plastic spacer. Let's remove it. There are two screws on each side. Insert the new SSD, making sure the socket is the same way as the spacer. Replace the four screws.
Let's replace the cable. Replace the bracket. Replace the three screws. And just so you can see, the M.2 SSD is underneath this metal cover. And let's not forget to plug the laptop battery back in. Snap the back cover into place. Replace the four longer screws. And replace the three short screws. Let's fire it up and see if the new disk is being recognized. On this computer, I first got a CMOS message when I booted up the machine with the new equipment. I had to allow the machine to reboot and then the message went away. Double click on this computer. You can see it's not recognizing the drive yet. So let's go down and click on the Windows button and type in disk. Go to create and format hard disk partitions. You can see on here we have disk 0 and disk 1. Disk 0 is the new drive we just installed. Right click and click new simple volume. Click next. Click next. You can change the drive letter if you want. I'm using NTFS file system and you can give the drive a name there if you want. Then click next. Click finish and it will start formatting. And once that finishes up, you should see the new drive in this computer. And that's all there is to adding a new SSD. All right, everyone, that's it for today. If this video helped you out, I'd appreciate it if you left a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.